Hello, website friends, it's Pauline here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your Substack sign up form inside your Squarespace website. Substack is attracting a lot of interest among my clients. And so I want to show you how you can send people to your website to sign up instead of directly sharing your Substack link. This is a good idea because if you ever decide to move your efforts or move your email list, then your website, of course, will remain constant. So inside your Substack account, I'm assuming you've already signed up for an account and you've already created the bare bones of your newsletter, which is what Substack call your publication. So from your main Substack page, come across to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, click the menu there and come down to writer dashboard. From your writer dashboard, look along the top here, you'll see there's a settings tab. That's where you want to come and scroll down here until you reach the section that is called import your email list. Now you don't actually want to do that. What you want is embed the sign up form on other websites. And it says here, insert this code. So go ahead, copy the code. Clicking there should do the trick. Copy the code and then head across to your Squarespace website. Now on Squarespace, in order to get this type of code to work, you will need to be subscribed to the business plan. This is not going to work if you're only on the Squarespace personal plan. Okay, so here I am moving across now to my Squarespace page, and this is where I want the form to appear. I recommend you think about putting the form in your website footer, and that way it's on every page for your website visitors. But for now, we'll just show it pasted into um, a section on a standard page. You want to be in edit mode, that's here in the top left. And I'm showing you this first of all using um, the new Fluid Engine editor in Squarespace. So this section where I'm going to create the sign up form is a Fluid Engine section. Therefore, I'm pressing G on my keyboard, G for grid, to get the grid to turn on. Within this section now, you're going to come to Add Block, top left. And the block that you want is a code block. So look for that in the list of available blocks and choose code. It comes in here in probably not a very useful place. So um, let's drag this and increase the size of the code block. Center it up nicely on your page. And then you want to choose the little pencil icon that relates to this code block. Choose the pencil. Delete this placeholder text, you definitely don't need that. And then simply paste in the code that Substack gave you. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, well, that's off center, so you want to come in and do some more work to get this to look good on your web page. Let's assume that's okay for now. I have two more things I want to show you. First of all, you'll notice um, the standard Substack form, you can't do a lot to edit it, and in fact, it's got this really bright orangey red um, sign up button here. If that looks good with your website, fine. If not, come back to Substack and higher up in your settings page. So that's the page that we were on. You've got this section called style and it says edit your publication theme. Come inside there and look down on the left hand side here. You'll see there's an accent color. This is where that orangey red is coming from. So you can definitely choose a better color that works better with your website and your branding. And in fact, I'm a big fan. If you know the actual hex code of your website colors, then please, please use that in here. Don't just guess and don't just go for an approximate color. But that is where you go ahead and change the color. You've got some control here over a few fonts that you can use, not many, but a few. And then when you're reasonably happy with those changes, you can choose to set the theme down here. So set theme basically saves those changes. This is all then controlled from within Substack. And that means when I come back to Squarespace, 
At the moment, we're still seeing the orange button here, but when I go ahead and save and refresh, then you'll see that that pulls information in from Substack. Another important tip for you, take a look and anytime you're designing in Fluid Engine, you really must take a look at the mobile view of what you just made. So in Squarespace, you've got the mobile view button here in the top right of your screen. Let's head over there and okay, so we've got a problem here. The Substack form is falling off the edge of a typical mobile phone screen. Um, I think this is a real drawback in the code that Substack give you. So let's look at how we fix that. I'm coming back to desktop view just for ease. Click on your Substack form. Again, choose the pencil icon for edit and then come in here and look at this code just scroll or move your cursor a little bit along this first piece here and you'll see we pretty soon come to this um, piece of text that says width equals 480. That is the problem. Um, if the mobile phone screen is, what is not as wide as 480, then the Substack form has this fixed width and it's going to fall off. So come in here and instead of 408 each, change this to say 100%. What this now means is your Substack form will fill the available space and I'm clicking away. We're going back now to look at mobile and it looks so much better. It's fitting nicely within the width that is available for it. And then in Fluid Engine, depending on the width you previously had chosen, you'll see now that when I um, drag the width of this block, this container, um, the entire form is then taking up that space. So you'll almost certainly want to play with this um, so that you get something that you're happy with that doesn't look too huge on your website page. That is how you would do that inside Fluid Engine. If you're using Fluid Engine and you're happy with Fluid Engine for your web page, you can stop watching now. However, if you're still using the older um, classic editor in Squarespace, I'm moving down now to this blue section and I'm going to show you that same approach here within classic editor. So this time you're going to want to choose the plus sign. The code block is still available for you as an item here. Again, delete the hello world, paste in your code uh, you'll have the same problem most likely on a mobile phone. So I recommend you do that step. Here we go. Come in here and find the part fairly near the beginning where it says width equals 480. Do that step of changing to 100%. And then of course, in the classic editor, um, everything we add tries to take up the full width of the available page. If you're not a fan of that look, then come in here and in Classic Editor, add spacer blocks. I'm doing one spacer block here on the left of my form. I'm adding another spacer block that I will now drag across to the right side of this form. And you can play around with it until you've got um, a look here inside Classic Editor that you're pleased with. So that's two approaches for you, whether you're using Squarespace Fluid Engine as your page editor, or whether you're still um, preferring to use the older Squarespace Classic Editor, how to embed your Substack form using a piece of code, and then importantly, I think, change that width so that it looks better on mobile devices. When you're happy with your changes, as always in Squarespace, don't forget to come up to the top left-hand corner of your page, hover over Done, and click Save. I hope this was helpful for you. You can find me at paulinewiles.com.